Washington, D.C. for the normal conference. So all the fuel comes from the hemp plant? It's, it There's comes from hemp seed oil. It's much less polluting. Right. It's renewable. Um, the net carbon dioxide added to the atmosphere is balanced out by the life cycle of the plant. Uh, there's no sulfur. It's better for the engine and the performance is better too. But it's better than diesel. Yes. You take the hemp seed oil, you uh, dissolve some lye and some methanol, you add that to the oil, you mix it up, and you let it settle out. That uh, breaks the fats in the oil so that it's more viscous. Mm -hmm. Glycerin settles to the bottom and the biodiesel's on top and that's what you burn in your engine. It's uh, non-toxic. You can drink it. It uh, has a high flash point. You can take it on an airplane with you if you want to. It's uh, basically vegetable oil. Do you process the fuel yourself then once you buy it raw? No, uh, Todd Swearingen, he has a company called Apple Energy based in Ohio, and he's processing all the oil in the fuel for us. The biodiesel will de-gunk the tank, uh -huh. and so uh, when you first switch over to biodiesel, you'll probably have to change the fuel filter a couple times, but it's really doing a good thing for your car. Yeah, really. <laughs> and the planet. Yes. You have an activist network that's going to be at the points where the field is going to be and have press conferences and all that. Yeah. Right, that's right. And a, a lot of people here are part of that network, and uh, the project wouldn't be a success without them. We've had so much help already. It takes a lot. Um, it's beautiful to see so many people work together for something. Seed and oil. Have <laughs> 